ordered a salvage box from liquidation.com. So what that means is these are items that have been deemed salvage, which means that they're not um, supposed to be sellable. So they also have things called return boxes, um, which are items that have been returned by customers. And those items are supposed to be basically in good condition, but usually they are not. So the way it works is it's an auction. So you put in a bid, it has to be $10 more than the previous auction. And um, when time runs out, if somebody puts it in in the, like the last 10 minutes, then it will add on five more minutes. So my winning bid on this box was $140. And then after um, tax and shipping, I ended up paying $249.16. So it comes with a manifest um, which says the name of the item, but it doesn't say the brand. It says in the title of the auction, three, usually three of the top most expensive items, the brand. The top three items were from Tadashi Shoji, Canada Goose, and Topshop. Um, the number one most expensive item, it said, was an off-shoulder gown, which retails for $828. Um, that's the Tadashi Shoji. Um, a Brookville coat, which is the Canada Goose that retails for $575. And a Dominique dress, which I'm guessing is, which I, doesn't seem like that would be a top shop thing because it it retails for $3.95. So I'm not sure what that is, but I'll go through it. So I've already opened up this box and sectioned it into categories. So the categories that I've sectioned it to are things that I am not keeping at all. I most likely will throw away because they are damaged beyond repair. Another category is items that need to be cleaned. Um, and then another category is items that need to be repaired. So I'm gonna start with the things that I cannot keep because they are just beyond repair. So it's mostly um, bras. So this bra, I'm not sure of the brand. The label is, oh, it's Elomi, um, but the label is worn out and it's just too worn, so I won't sell that. Um, there was uh, just one sticky bra, maybe two this time, um, but this one is clearly used and gross, so I won't sell that. Uh, this is another bra that the label is worn out. I can't see what brand it is, so to me that's not something that I would want to buy. Um, these are some Topshop jeans. They're Jamie jeans, but they have a lot of um, pulling across the hip and in the back, and so to me they're just not sellable. This is... So one thing that they do in these boxes, if it's a... A certain brand they'll have to cut out the label so this brand which is usually a North and Nordstrom house brand a lot of like all of these returns I believe are from Nordstrom they don't advertise it that way but that's just how it appears um, so this is a Nordstrom house brand if you check the RN label it'll say that uh, so the label's been cut out but it's got stains or no not stains it's got tears up here because because it doesn't have a label it's not even worth trying to repair uh, there's another bra that's worn out. There is a robe. This is make plus model, which I have not been able to sell. Um, it's Nordstrom House line. Uh, it's got some stains, so to me it's not worth even trying to sell um, or trying to stain, stain treat. Uh, these are, the brand is called Skin, but they just look like pajama pants but they're really worn out um, at the top, so I'm not gonna try and sell those. Another bra, another sticky bra that's been used, which is gross and it stuck to me. This is a hoodie that has the label cut out and it's got some, um, a lot of like pilling, which is repairable, but since it doesn't have the brand, it's not worth it. This one I might donate just in case somebody else wants to try and rehab it because it is wearable and it might be good for someone um, that doesn't care about how it looks. Um, this is a another bra that's tiny and ripped. Uh, Commando is the name of the brand, but it's ripped and it's tiny and it doesn't seem worth fixing. Um, this is just a t-shirt. I think it's stained. The label's ripped out, cut out. It's just a plain t-shirt, so it's not worth trying to figure out. This one I'll donate. 
Oh, it's got, oh, okay. This one has like cuts in it, probably when they opened the box. Um, so that's all the items that I am not going to try and sell. Okay, so now for more exciting items that I will try to wash. Hopefully the stains will come out. So these are not guaranteed that I will be able to sell them. <clears throat> I don't feel 100% confident that I can get all the stains out, but I will try. Hopefully I'll be able to recover quite a few of these. So this is one of my favorites. It's so cute. It's a Topshop um, zip up hoodie that's so fuzzy and so soft and so cute. And it has some like stuff stuck on it on the sleeve. So I'll try and just spot treat that. Hopefully it'll come out with some just some like dish soap. Uh, this is this is a Barefoot Dreams um, like sweatshirt kind of thing. I've heard people say that Barefoot Dreams is like super soft and you can recognize how it feels and they're not lying. I've never felt it before. It feels so soft. Um, this is obviously stained, so I'll try and spot treat it. The little um, pull came out on one side, so I'll have to re-thread that through. But this is so soft. If I, if I can't get the stain on, I'm just going to wear it as pajamas because I love it. Um, this is Veronica Beard. It's a, it said in the listing that it's reversible, which I don't know why you'd need this to be reversible and it doesn't really look reversible. Um, but it's like a mock neck sweater-ish thing. Um, the retail's pretty high. It's got some staining on the inside of the neck. So I'll try and spot treat that. And it's got a little bit of like smudging down here, but nothing huge on this one. So I should be able to recover this. And even if um, I can't get it fully out of the inside, as long as it's not visible on the outside, it shouldn't be a problem to sell. Obviously, I'll disclose it. So uh, next is a Gibson, um, which I believe is a Nordstrom House brand. Uh, it's like a wrap top that has a belt. It's kind of a satiny crepe. And the only thing I could find with this one is it has a stain on the back of the sleeve. This is a size medium. These are frame jeans, which I don't know if they sell for super high, but they definitely sell. Um, these are white, so they've got some staining on them. It's not too bad. Uh, I will try and wash them, and hopefully that will come out. But it shouldn't, it shouldn't be a problem because they're in pretty good condition. They look basically brand new except for the staining. This is a Free People sweater. It's got some staining on the neck as well. The makeup staining is really common. Um, I forgot what this one's called, but it's really cozy and pink. It's got a little bit of staining here too. So I'll wash that one. I'll run that through the washer and it should be okay. This is a Zella workout shirt. It's a size medium. Um, I'm not sure who this is for. Like, is this for running? I don't know. It's got a little bit of staining on the neckline. Not sure if you can see that. It's not very bad. Uh, so probably just a wash will do this fine. I've sold Zella leggings really easily and Zella sports bras. So I'm not sure about the tops. I think I've had like one Zella top that didn't sell very fast, but it wasn't like a super current style. So it's got little zippers on it. Got like reflective so that makes me think it's for running um it's kind of like water resistant feeling <laughs> this this dress is um very skin tastic shows a lot of skin uh the brand is not something i'm familiar with it's called tiger mist um it's got some it's got some deodorant staining so it just needs to be washed um but it's very small. It's, it says it's a medium, but it does not look like a medium. It is very, very small. This is a Levi's spell out hoodie and it's got some staining on the sleeve. That's pretty bad. It looks kind of sticky like Coke or something. So I'll try and wash that. This is Allie and Jay Los Angeles. Um, this was listed, this was in a photo on the listing so I kind of knew about this one uh, and it has staining on the front this is a size extra large and I don't know we'll see if I can get that out I, I don't know I'm not sure about what that is because it looks kind of like dark like hair dye maybe uh, this is another Zella top that's got a lot of staining so I'll run it through the wash if it doesn't come out then I'll probably just donate this one they they marked through the Zella 
so it ble it bled through the back. Um, it's cute though, like it's got a cute little slit and the same with the blue color. So I'll run it through the wash, see what, what happens with that. This one just had a little bit of underarm staining. Um, it's Rails is the brand, but it's not a plaid shirt like the really popular Rails. Um, but it's a wrap dress and it's really pretty. It just has a little bit of like discoloration in the armpit. I don't know if you can probably see that. Um, but it's very pretty. It's a very pretty wrap dress, size large. This is a Sam Edelman skirt that has some like blue, like maybe it's like transferred from something else that it was hanging next to or laying next to. Um, so it run that through the wash, but it still has the like this part. So it's sad to wash it, but that's what I have to do. And then just a cami, which I'll probably just keep for myself. It's got some underarm staining or deodorant staining. And this is a shirt, the brand is 1060 Sherman, which I don't know anything about, but I will probably give it to my friend if I can get the stain out of it. It says, I didn't want to come, but I have FOMO, which is really cute. It's a really cute shirt, but it does have this like large stain on it. So hopefully I can get that out. That is all of the items that I need to wash. Okay, last is our biggest section, which is the items that need to be, which is the items that need to be repaired. So, as I said that, the first item on the manifest, which is the most expensive, was the Tadashi Shoji dress. I didn't know what it was going to look like, it just said off-shoulder dress or gown or whatever. So, um, it actually is a wedding dress, and it has this like illusion neckline with a big ruffle, it's called the popover dress. So, it is in perfect condition up top. But what looks like happened is in the store, it was probably just too long for the rack and it got run over. Um, so the bottom is very, very dirty on the lining. Um, if you can see that, I don't know if you can, but it looks like it just got run over. And then there is a hole on the outside, um, a few inches up. So my options are, I can wash it, the bottom, like spot treat it, and try and repair the hole, which will still be there. Like I can't get rid of it, obviously. Or I can just chop it off and hem it. Let me know in the comments what you suggest. <laughs> so there's one other sold, there's one sold on Poshmark that sold for $450 and it had been hemmed for someone that was 5'3", which is about where this would end up. But it was new with tags. So, I think what I'm going to do is try to start getting the stains out. If I'm successful at that, then I'll mend the hole and then list it and see what happens. Um, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. Uh, it's Tadashi Shoji Bridal. And it's got all these little applique and embroidered flowers. And it is very, very pretty. And this is a size 10. Also that was in the photo for the website was this Topshop sweater, which I could not find anything wrong with it. Um, it looks pretty good to me. It's a cute little sweater. This is a size small, UK small, US 4 to 6. Yeah, US 4 to 6. This is a Vince Camuto dress, and it's got like a knit top and a chiffon bottom that's maxi, but the bottom of the skirt is just totally destroyed. It's ripped, it's stained, but this, um, and it's got like this silver zipper. It's a size small, but this dress looks a lot like one of my friends to me, so I'm probably gonna give it to her and she can cut it shorter and make it like a midi dress instead of a maxi. This is a Madewell dress, size 14, and it is really, really pretty, um, floral. This one has a broken zipper and it's, um, Got this little gathered sleeve that's sheer, and it's a it's a maxi dress, I guess. Might be, yeah. This I could also not find anything wrong with. It's Michael Stars. It's a sweater that has bell sleeves and a little cross back. And it's really, really cute. It looks like it has been worn. It doesn't look brand new, but I don't see anything wrong with it. I tried it on, I couldn't find any holes. 
This, I also could not find anything wrong with it. The brand is La Vie by Rebecca Taylor. I guess it has a little bit of tearing here. So I'll probably just mend that by hand. Um, but otherwise it's perfect. It's really cute. I haven't had a lot of luck selling Rebecca Taylor, but I have heard that it does well, so maybe it just depends on the item. This is a cotton Emporium sweater, which does not go for much, at least the other one that I've had did not. It has a little pull, so I'll just mend that by hand and that's no big deal. This is a size large. I got two of these dresses. They are Pizarro Nights, um, which all, pretty, I think all the Pizarro Nights dresses are just like really heavily beaded. Um, they're great for like mother of the bride, but some of them are, you know, just like wedding guest attendants. They're very formal. They're very formal gowns um, that are heavily beaded and made in India. But I guess they, the zippers break a lot because I've gotten them several times. And I have two of this particular style. This one is a size 10. Um, this is very clearly like a mother of the bride dress. So that zipper just needs to be replaced because it's broken beyond repair. Um, this is the other one, which is, I believe, a size two. Yeah, this one's a size two, so just one more of those. This is a Laundry by Shelly Seagal coat. Seagal, Seagal, Seagal. It um, has a ripped lining, which is a really easy repair, so I'll fix that. And then otherwise, it's in perfect condition. It has this gigantic hood which is just like so, so big, but it's very warm, very cool. This is an extra small. Uh, this is a Zella bra. Um, it has a ripped strap, so that's a really easy repair, so I'll fix that and list it. Otherwise, it looks brand new. This is a size medium. This dress is by Elon, I think is the name of the brand, E-L-A-N. Um, it's just a maxi dress, but these straps break all the time because this is like the fourth one that I've gotten. Um, I can sell them. I usually sell them around like $15. Uh, so I can fix the strap. It's not a big deal, but they're just kind of like a cotton drapey dress. I've had some in linen that were stripes and they have pockets. They're just really long, wide maxi dresses for like vacation and the beach. This is another Pizarro Nights dress. Uh, it is kind of like a blushy mauve color. This is a size four. Um, the Pizarro Nights dress retail really high. So this dress I think was around 210. Um, one of the other ones was still had the tag on it. But the resale for me at least is not very high. Like I think the most I've sold one for is like $60 and at least like 25 maybe, maybe 20. They're not super easy to sell. But some of them, but some of the ones that I had were petite. So that also is a factor. But this one is really pretty. It needs a new zipper. Um, it's just got like the little fanned out. It's got godets in the skirt, so it kind of fans out. It's got cap sleeve. Um, I have a pretty much exactly this dress in blue that I've sold before. So this dress is sad. <laughs> this one, I'm not sure if I can repair. It is new with tags. Um, sink a set. I'm not sure exactly how you say it. Um, it still has the tag. It's a size four. It's got this like deep V in the front and back, and then it's got like these little ruffly sleeves and a ruffle on the hem. But the one side of it has been cut somehow. It looks like melted almost. So I will try to mend it, but it's all the way through the lining. I can mend it, but it's just not going to be nearly as valuable as it was brand new. So I'll mend it. We'll see what happens, but it's not going to look great. <laughs> it's not going to look amazing since it's sliced all the way through. There's not really much for me to repair there. This coat is by Bernardo and it is super, super soft. Um, I think this one has a little hole. Yeah, this one has a little like burn on the back. Um, so I'll mend that by hand and just disclose it and list it, but it should still sell. It's really soft and I like the color and it's got like a knit neck and these little, these long like drawstrings with the poles. I don't know. Does it do anything? It doesn't have like a hood, but this is a size small. 
It's like a green color. This sweater is by Dreamers. It's got, um, the neck is pulled apart, so that needs to be fixed, but otherwise it's in great condition. It's a weird little crop sweater that has like this drapey arm that goes really far out. Um, but I'll fix that really easily and list that really quickly. This is the Canada Goose jacket, which I could not find anything wrong with. It, I didn't, I don't know what's wrong with this, which is great because this is the second most expensive item in the thing. Um, this is a size extra small. And yeah. It's got all the authentic tagging. This coat retails for about 500, I think over $500. Um, the soles looked really good. I could not find anything wrong with that one. That one I was really excited about. These are some free people pants. The only thing wrong with this is that one of the little, one of the belt loops pulled off, um, but that's a really easy fix. So I'll just fix that and list it. It still has a piece of the tag. So everybody will know that it is brand new. This is by the brand called Something Navy, which is sold at Nordstrom. The tag looks like this. I've heard that it's good for resale, but I don't really know. It's a top. Um, this is my first time having it. It's got just a pulled seam, so that's a super easy fix. The easiest fixes are when they are on a seam, because then I can just stitch it right back up. This is a size small. And I have two pairs of pants. This is Emerson Rose is the brand, which I don't know. Um, they look like a little cropped, stretchy, crop stretchy legging. The waistband has torn off, so I can, rep I can repair that pretty fast. No big deal. And then the last thing um, are these Articles of Society jeans. They're like a waxed cotton. And I could not find anything wrong with these. They're just a little stained. They just need to run through the wash. And that's it. That's everything that I got in my liquidation salvage box. You are a returning watcher. Thank you so much. If you're already a subscriber, I really appreciate it. And if you are not and you enjoy this content, please hit subscribe, please hit like, and um, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.